Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Father. Today's Eucharist is offered in thanksgiving for the good and for the good health of Selma Braco. We shall pray for this intention in a very special way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. As we are sung in the entrance hymn, Wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I am there present in their midst. As we begin this Eucharist, let's ask ourselves, have we really gathered in the name of the Lord? And as we are gathered here, have we come here together as a family and as a community? Or have I perhaps come here as an individual to meet the God of my life? to do my set of devotions, to take, to take part in my set of rituals. And for the times when we come into the presence of the Lord, not as a family, but as individuals, we are going against what God wants. God wants us to be one family. Let us pause for a while and become aware of the times we have not had this family spirit among ourselves, for the times when we have not been one in mind and in heart, and our faults and failings let us ask the Lord's pardon. I confess, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us praise and glorify God for His goodness to us.
Let us pray. O oh God, author of life, creator of the universe, we thank and praise you for the gift of creation. You have sown within our hearts the seed of eternal life. Look kindly upon us and upon all the people who are dear to us. Give us the grace to participate in the creation process. Give us the grace to reach out to people in their difficulties and their needs. We thank you in a special way today, together with Selma Rego, Selma Braco, and at the same time we pray for Magdalena Rego, grant her eternal rest in the company of our Blessed Mother and of all the saints. We make this prayer to you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will take a sprig from the lofty top of the cedar and will set it out. I will break off from the topmost of its young twigs, a tender one, and I myself will plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain height of Israel will I plant it, that it may bear branches and produce fruit and become a noble cedar. And under it will dwell every kind of bird. In the shade of its branches, birds of every sort will nest. And all the trees of the field shall know that I am the Lord. I bring low the high tree and make high the low tree, dry up the green tree and make the dry tree flourish. I am the Lord. I have spoken and I will do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to God's word is, It is good to give thanks to you, O Lord. Please repeat. It is good to give thanks to you, O Lord. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your loving mercy in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. Our response it is good to give thanks to you, O Lord. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. Our response, it is good to give thanks to you, O Lord. Still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green to proclaim that the Lord is upright. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Our response, it, it is, is good, good to, to give, give thanks, thanks to you, O Lord. Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage. And we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please Him. For we must all appear 
before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The seed is the word of God. The sower is Christ. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground, and then he sleeps and rises night and day, and the seed sprouts and grows, he knows not how. The earth produces by itself, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. But when the grain is ripe, at once he puts in the sickle, because the harvest has come. And he said, With what can I compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable shall I use for it? It is like a grain of matzah seed, which when sown to the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on earth, yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes larger than all the garden plants and puts out large branches so that the birds of the air can come and make nest in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them without a parable, but privately to his own disciples, he explained everything. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the first reading of today in the Gospel passage put before us what God does in creation and what God does with creation. You know, nowadays we are very conscious of Mother Earth. We are very conscious of creation. We are conscious of nature. But this is not something new. It has been there from the book of Genesis. Already we see in the book of Genesis, God created everything. But according to me, God did not create everything as a final creation. God started the process of creation. If I ask you, and we learned in Catechism, who made you? What will you say? God made me. And therefore, I am an angry person. What can I do? God made me. I am a jealous person. What can I do? God made me. That's not true. God began the process of making me. And now he tells me, go, live your life. God has created us in his image and now God wants us to grow in his likeness. And how do we grow in the likeness of God? It's only when we become more and more Christ-like. We live our lives not for ourselves, we live our lives in order to give life to others. <clears throat> and that is what a seed does. It's God who gives the growth. And in the first reading, we see God says, I will take a little sprig, the tenderest of sprigs, and I will put it in the ground, and I will make it grow. Some of us take seeds and put in the ground. You put a seed in the ground. Nowadays, it's mango season. So you put a mango seed in the ground. Will it sprout and grow? 
Hello. Yes or no? It will sprout and grow because that is the nature of a seed. If you put a seed in the ground and provide it the right atmosphere, provide it everything that it needs, it will sprout and grow. But in order to grow, in order to sprout, what does it need to do? It needs to die to itself. As Jesus says, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains a single grain. But when it dies, it produces. In other words, to use a different metaphor, unless the seed hits the ground and grows roots, it will not sprout. Roots are important. And so also, my dear brothers and sisters, with us. Are we rooted in the Lord? Are we rooted in the values of the gospel? Now, you will say, but Father, all around there are, there is so much of evil. So what? Take a look at a plant. The root picks up only the nutrition, does not pick up the dirt. That is the discerning power that the root has. Do I have the discerning power? Wherever I may be living, whatever the surroundings, do I have the discerning power which God gives in order to pick up that which is nutritious so that not only I grow, but as I grow, others can build their nest. In other words, I give life to others. This is the greatness that we see in nature. We only tend to see the externals. But take a look. Just as the tree goes on growing, the roots go deeper. And the roots have the discerning power to pick up the nutrition. And our faith, the faith that we have, the faith that God has given us in Christ, that faith gives us that discerning power to pick up the values of the gospel. But what happens? We get carried away by the values of the world. And then we wonder what happened. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us pause for a while and pray to the Lord to give us this grace. We are all seeds. We need to sprout. We need to grow. We need to strike roots so that we can branch out. And we need to ask God to give us the grace, that discerning grace, to live by the values of the gospel, to pick up the values of the gospel from our surroundings and live accordingly. Let us pause for a while and pray for this grace for all of us. Let us now profess our faith in the Lord. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Prayer of the faithful. The kingdom of God is a profound reality to be seen through the eyes of faith. May we all actively participate in, the, in its establishment as Jesus intended, saying, Lord, may your kingdom come. Please repeat. Lord, may your kingdom come. For our Pope, bishops, priests, and religious, may they lead by example, advancing the kingdom of God through their guidance and dedication. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord may your kingdom, kingdom come. come. For the universal church, 
the visible manifestation of God's kingdom. May it defend the voiceless, the powerless, the oppressed, and the marginalized. We pray to the Lord, Lord, may your kingdom come. come. For our farmers who toil in their fields, may their hard work yield food for billions and ensure none suffer from food insecurity or malnutrition. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord may, may your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come, that we may realize the severe damage we have inflicted on our planet Earth, resulting in climate change and irregular rainfall. May the Lord grant rain in drought-stricken and dry areas to relieve people's suffering. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord may your kingdom come. come, that the relevant BMC authorities make necessary arrangements for the safe crossing of the road in front of the church, ensuring the safety of our seniors, children, and all others. We pray for our parish committee as they diligently work on this matter. We pray to the Lord, Lord, may your kingdom, kingdom come. come. We pray for community and personal needs. Let us now pause for a while and pray to the Lord in a very special way for our parents, our children, for our brothers and sisters and their families. Let us pray for all the members of our parish, especially those families where there are difficulties and problems. Let us pray in thanksgiving to the Lord together with Selma Mbrako. Today is also the first death anniversary of Magdalena Rego. Let us pray that the Lord grant her eternal rest and the Lord grant her family the strength, the consolation and the support that they need. God, our Heavenly Father, as we praise and honor you as the author of life and the God of creation, we put before you our needs and petitions. Look kindly upon us and upon the people that we have prayed for and grant what we have asked of you in deep faith, if it be according to your will. We make this prayer to you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Of a tree. My dear brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Lord, 
from the many gifts that you have given us we bring before you this bread and wine symbols of who we are and what we have you have invited us to be co-creators with you to participate with you in the process of creation within ourselves and around us look kindly upon us and give us the blessings and the graces that we need that we may remain faithful to our calling we make this prayer to you who live and reign forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god today we raise our hearts and minds to you in thanksgiving and praise for the gift of creation we raise our hearts and minds to you in thanksgiving and praise for giving us life for calling us into existence we thank and praise you and raise our hearts to you in blessing for our parents our siblings all the people who have come into our lives and helped us to grow and become who we are today we thank you for jesus your son who has given us fullness of life by his death and resurrection and we join our thanks to the thanks of the whole of creation as together with all the saints and angels we praise you with one voice as we acclaim Lord you are holy indeed the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread said the blessing broke the bread gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he said the blessing gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven do this in memory of me Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, 
As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Oswald our Bishop, all the clergy, all religious men and women, all of us who are gathered here, and all your people everywhere. Remember Magdalena Rego, whom you called to yourself a year ago. Look kindly upon her and grant her eternal rest in the company of our Blessed Mother and of all the saints. Remember our other brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, Saint Francis Xavier, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now, let us join ourselves to one another and to the whole of creation and address to the Father the family prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, especially the evil of our selfishness and our pride, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxieties, doubts, and worries, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your disciples, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people gathered here and the needs of the world. And grant us the love, peace, and unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another the peace of Christ. May this mainly with the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching in your love, O Lord. Never let us be parted from you. This, mighty brothers and sisters, is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. This is he who came into this world that we may have life and have it to the full. Happy are we who have come to share in the supper of the Lamb. No, I am not worthy that you should enter the body, but we say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us healing and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. Having shared in this Eucharistic meal, we once again thank and praise you, Lord, for the gift of life that you have given us and the eternal life that you have promised us in and through the body and blood of your Son. Give us the grace through the power of this Eucharist to remain faithful to you and to what you expect of us. We make this prayer to you through Christ our Lord. Notices for this week, Sunday, 16 June 2024. The Jesus Fan Club and the confirmation sessions have started from this Sunday. Parents are reminded of their Christian duty to send their children for the same. Do visit and pray at the newly renovated Sacred Heart Cove at the rear end of the church. We have named it Cove as the term Cove refers to a small sheltered bay. Thus, for us, cove symbolizes protection and shelter. So placing your trust in Jesus, may you experience his protection and shelter as you face the challenges of life. This year, our parish is placing its focus on our housebound and senior citizens in the parish. We do hope that as individual parishioners or SCC clusters, groups and associations, we reach out to our housebound and seniors. Find your own little creative ways to reach out to them. On Sunday, 23rd June, the 10.15 a.m. Youth Mass will be celebrated at the Ashankur Hall as part of JAM, a joy, activity, and music initiative to bring youth closer to the Eucharist. All youth are requested to attend. On Saturday, 29 June, Prison Ministry is organizing a visit to the Dongri Remand Home from 10 a.m. To 12.30 p.m. Those who would like to be a part of this experience are requested to give your names in the parish office latest by Sunday, 23rd June. Post this experience if you feel it's your calling to join the ministry to give your time, skills, and talents. We would be more than happy to enroll you accordingly. The youth of Holy Family are organizing a karaoke night next Saturday, 22nd June at Ashankur Hall from 8 p.m. onwards. Registration to be done at the desk outside the church. All parishioners are invited for an evening of fun, games, and fellowship. PPC, along with PYC collaboration, is organizing a free cardiac and vascular camp on 30th June from 9 a.m. to 12 noon in the Ashankur Hall. Kindly look up the notice board for further details. Admission for FYJC Standard 11 Science and Commerce at Holy Family Junior College. All Catholic students who wish to take admission under minority quota kindly contact the junior office immediately, Monday to Saturday, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. We sincerely thank you for our first Friday collection of Rs. 37,880 and last weekend collection of rupees 
please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with us. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in service to love and praise the Lord. Thanks be to God.